Now, for those of you that have been following my channel for a while or have already subscribed, you're probably aware that I'm building a studio out the back of my place. If you haven't or you don't know about that, I'll put a link to that video at the top here. I'm gonna be vlogging that whole process and I'm really excited because uh, in a couple of days, we're getting the formwork for the slab to be laid. And then a few weeks after that, the shed should be going up. A few weeks after that, I'll start converting it into a studio. However, I have wanted to put a second motion simulator in that room. And I've settled on a six DOF motion system. And I am being supplied this motion system from none other than the man himself, the one and only unicorn, Pacemaker. Now, Chris Pacemaker, he is a fellow Aussie and I couldn't believe it. When we started chatting online and discussing various things and working out what I was gonna be doing, he then let me know that we are pretty much only 50 minutes from each other. So we both live in the same state in Western Australia and we decided to organize a catch up. So yesterday I jumped in my car and man, I was so damn excited. I drove down to his place and I got to see not only the man himself, but the unicorn and my gosh. So you just go through the room. <sighs> All right, I'll let you do the others. It's nothing fancy, but <laughs> I love it. Nothing fancy. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Let me tell you, that thing is so damn impressive. Now, Chris is a bloody smart bloke. He has done tons of engineering and 3D printing and been working on this system for years now and finally arrived at a system that he is prepared to start selling. So very soon, you are gonna be able to start buying this motion system. But what I got to experience yesterday is none other than just breathtaking. That motion rig is terrifying at first, but once you get the hang of it and you start to get confident in it, man, the feeling of surge, the feeling of coming out of the basin on some of those tracks and actually having the seat pushing behind you and, and making you actually feel like you're in a car that's accelerating up that hill is incredible. It really is an incredible experience to be in a sixed off motion system. So massive shout out to Chris. Thank you, mate, for your time yesterday. I know how much work goes into being able to help someone have a good time in a motion system. And whenever I have mates come over and try mine out, it's a full on day. You wanna make sure that everything's working and they're having a good time. And I've gotta be honest, man, that rig is absolutely insanity. There's so much going on. Chris is a wealth of knowledge and I can't wait to have him up here. I reckon we'll have him out in the studio with me and we'll, we'll sling a few beers and uh, he can give us a hand putting my motion rig together. So this video is me giving a big shout out to Chris, mate. Thank you so much. That was absolutely bloody epic. And I finally got to try the unicorn. You know the drill, like and subscribe, share these videos with all your crazy friends. And man, this was one hell of an experience. Let's go. Hey guys, okay, so I've got um, Pete from uh, Limitless VR and SimRix coming over today. I'm gonna show him what a real simulator is. And um, yeah, we'll get his first impressions. So I think he's just rocked up now. Hey, hey. <laughs> you got the camera too. Hey mate, Chris. Mate. Good to see you in person, mate. Pleasure to meet you, mate. Yeah, come on in, I'm gonna Try to convert you to the dark side. <laughs> the six stop unicorn. Six stops, man. Oh, you legend. Oh, All right, so you just go through the room. <sighs> All right, I'll let you do the other ones. It's nothing fancy, but. <laughs> I love it, nothing fancy. Yeah. Oh my God. Dude. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, listen to it. Just, mate, this is madness. It's bigger than I expected. Yeah, well, this is. Um... Wow. So. This is 600 wow. mil actually, it's not the 500, which is what will be in the kit. Yeah, okay. I've gone 100 mil and, and I've kind of oh added the gosh. base, um, the little extension at the end, because I wasn't sure how oh, stability would go if I kept it in the same. So these, ex end. these extensions here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I was worried about not having the height. Yep. Well, it'd be higher too, so climbing mm. in and out would be mm. a bit more difficult. But, um, and then, yeah, a bit more stability. So, yeah, anyway, what we'll do, Jesus. we'll fire it up and we'll get you on the thing. <laughs> Uh, 
medals? Yeah. Holy shit, bro. Oh my god. Wow, you really feel the surge. The brake's pretty hard. You gotta really, yeah, I, I like it. It's stiff. Oh man, that is, that's a sensation I'm not used to. <laughs> Slowly starting to get the feel of this thing. Yeah. No, you're doing good. It's just so much motion. I'm not used to so many. Yeah, all the little motion cues, eh? It's, it's, it's overload. It's incredible. I'm, my brain is just melting down right now. My rig is just so lifeless compared to this. <laughs> it's it's incredible. What a difference. The um, the changes in elevation. The yeah. feeling of um, the feeling of going up the hill, coming down the hill. And then it helps having like motion left to then do your, your roll and your yeah. surge and sways and stuff too, so. Oh man, even just braking then. It's the, the, the feeling of surge is something I am just completely lacking in my, in my rig. Not for much longer. Okay, race complete. That's the cool down lap. I'm just gonna experiment with something. Yeah. Wow, that's... That's just crazy, man. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, so I've been really tuned to mobile over over wheel up. But, uh... The violet? We love the, we love the violets. <laughs> Those spark filters are going to work. <laughs> yeah, that was alright. Forward and crash. So. Oh man, this this is um, this is crazy. Like the feeling of um of your because this is so grippy. Yeah. Is is yeah, you can feel it. <laughs> oh wow, dude! Like just that side to side motion is that's insane. This makes my sim rig look like a toy. <laughs> Jesus! I actually feel like I'm driving a real Formula 1 car right now. Looks like it. Oh shit! Yep. Oh. Could probably be turned down a little bit. Just because it's a bit more rigid, the suspension on this, but you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it's doing a great job of giving me a a sense of immersion though. Wow. <laughs> the, the fitness levels to do this. <laughs> this is out of control, dude. Are you on the Nürburgring? Sorry? Is this a Nürburgring? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow, this is this is white knuckle, man. I am hanging onto this steering wheel. Getting <laughs> these X rays, right? So this, this is this is a prototype, right? So we've got like nut catches here, and you've got a rod that goes all the way through, and then you've got some basically hollow tube to space the motor, right? And then we're like, well, 
because we're CNC now with 3D printing, you kind of needed these nut catches. You, you, you're not going to yeah 3D. You can 3D print threads, but I'm not going to risk 200 kilos sitting on yeah, yeah, a 3D yeah. printed <laughs> thread, right? Yeah. So, and then we're like, well, why are we still doing the nut catch when we're CNCing? We can just thread rods, and we're like, well, why are we even? doing the square why don't we just make this go to a circle ah. so this is the actual final production actuator right oh dude and so now you'll see it now goes oh man square down to circle and seamlessly yeah that is thin sick. and then you've got basically threaded here so now that just you just got a big long bolt. One bolt straight, straight in. in. You don't need that little stupid nut catch system. That's heaps and, cleaner. Um, yeah, it's heaps cleaner, man. So now, that's that's what you've got coming. And that's that's the one. That's so what your, travel yeah. is that? So that's that's a three hundred eighty mil. Yep. Travel, because you lose one hundred and twenty mil with the the whole ball nut. Yeah, of course. And and everything that catches yep. on it. So these are an extra hundred mil. So they're four hundred and eighty mil. Yep. But yeah, obviously, the good thing about the 380s is you have a small footprint. So, you know, you don't need such a big room. Mm. Perfect for you because it's going to be, you know, and, and as you've seen, you, you weren't even using half the... No. Well, you're using probably 75% of the travel, which yeah. is probably what you'd be getting from this, right? From that. But yeah, that's the one you've got. So that's crazy. this is going to go on the new, the new setup. That is killer. And then it's, 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 it's a bit nice CNC look. Hey? Yeah, man. It looks oh, good. Right. Wow, that was an incredible experience. My mind is blown. The feeling of coming out of, uh, I guess, like the basin of some of those tracks and then the feeling of surge as you're accelerating is truly mind-blowing. Plus, to actually have, well, for the first time ever, that feeling of G-force as I sort of got thrown to the side of the car, my motion rig can simulate it to a degree, but it's really only got three degrees of freedom. We've got heave, we've got pitch, and then we've got roll. Now it does an incredible job when you're in VR of tricking the brain, but I am lacking those additional degrees of freedom. Now, one of the things you can do with this style of rig is you certainly can add surge, and you can also add traction loss, and e-racing labs in particular have now got a dual traction loss system. So you've got traction loss for the front, traction loss for the rear. In time, yes, I am going to add that system to this rig when the new studio is built. But for now, my goodness, we are standing by for the prototype version arriving so that I can actually test out my new six DOF system from Chris Pacemaker. These systems will be coming and available for the general public to buy very soon. Please get onto Chris's Discord. I'll put links to that in the description. I'll also put his Discord along the screen here now. And very soon, you are going to be able to order one of these systems if you so choose. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.